Hi everyone, you watching Cooking with the Brown Chef. I'm gonna show you how to make the chili prawns fried rice. This is the Singaporean and Malaysian kind of a chili prawns fried rice. So let's see what are the ingredients we need it for to make the chili prawns fried rice. 300 gram of uh, cooked rice, half of onion. It's sliced and cut into the. It's cut into the dices. Minced garlic and I got two call of garlic too. Ginger. It's fresh ginger. I got handful of green peas. I got one and a half tablespoon of chili flakes. Salt. I got some salt and I got some pepper. Half a teaspoon of turmeric. And I got the secret ingredients chicken stock or you can use a, a vegetable stock. And I got some soy sauce. I might use a two tablespoon of a soy sauce. I got 100 and 150 gram of a prawns. You can use less if you don't want to. If you want more, you can add more or less. It's up to you. It's according to your uh, measurement. And I got some carrot. I'm gonna. I have some carrot, a handful of carrot. I'm gonna uh, slice them up. I'm gonna make strip out of this carrot. And I got a spring onion. I got some uh, handful of parsley. So I got some bird eye chili. First of all, I'm going to cut the carrot into the strips and uh, I'm going to cut the uh, spring onion into the strip. Let's see how we're going to do that one. Cut the carrot into the slices. So you just follow me the shape of the carrot I'm going to cut because this is a uh, Asian style uh, cutting. I'm going to cut long strips, very thin long strips. Maybe half of the carrot, you might use this one for so please follow me carefully how I'm going to uh, slice the spring onion into the strips. It's not the rocket science but the cuts going to give you a different taste and different look. Get the stump off. Now I'm going to cut the bird eye chili into the half. So let's see how I'm going to do with that. So what I'm going to do now. I'm gonna season my prawns before I cook it on there. So let's see how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use half of the chili I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the half a teaspoon of turmeric and some salt and the pepper. My secret ingredients chicken stock, one tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm gonna use my minced garlic at the best at first. And I'm going to mix this one properly. After you season this one, you can uh, put in the fridge for 10 minutes or 5 minutes to season it up. Let the flavor suck into the uh, prawns. But if you don't have time, you don't have to do it so. So it's, you can still cook straight away. So let's see how I'm going to cook. I'm going to use the pan and cook this one off. So let's see how I'm going to cook it up there. So my pan is already heating up. First of all, you're gonna heat it up the pan and then you're gonna add some olive oil. You can add a little bit more olive oil if you want to. And then you're gonna cook the prawns. So you're gonna cook off the prawns for a couple of minutes. You can add the rest of the chili flakes. And then give a nice mix. Then you can add the garlic and the fresh ginger and some onion into it too. And just give a nice mix. So let it cook it for a while and you can add some salt and pepper too according to your taste and you can add some touch of parsley to give the nice flavor. So you make sure you stir up otherwise you the onion and the 
prawn is gonna stick to the pan. Now you can use the rest of the uh, tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. Let's evaporate that thing. Now you can add the uh, carrot into it. And mix it well. And then you're gonna add the bird eye chili, that's the hot part. And then you're gonna add the green peas into it. And you're gonna mix it well. Let uh, carrot cook for a while, maybe uh, one or two minutes, because uh, carrot take a little bit time to cook. And now it's time to add the um, spring onion and the uh, parsley together. So make sure you add the uh, parsley and spring onion at last. Otherwise you won't see them, it's going to be vanished. So it's going to be withered and uh, you won't see them again. And so make sure you add the parsley and the spring onion at last. So in that way you will see it, you will feel it and you are gonna get the nice flavor from it. So now it's cooked guys, the vegetable is halfway through cooked, the prawns it's really cooked. The, every vegetable and the prawns cooked, now it's time to add the warm rice. Make sure you warm this rice before you add it. Do not add the cold rice into it, otherwise the taste, you are gonna ruin the taste. So now you can mix it really well. After you adding rice guys, make sure you mix it properly. If it's right stick together, make sure you break through it. Make sure you leave 3 to 5 minutes, then rice is going to be warm and very hot. Then you can serve it. So don't forget to add salt and pepper according to your taste. I need some pepper or you can still add some chicken stock if you want to. Let's give you a nice flavor. So guys this is ready to serve now. Look guys it will look amazing. The prawns cook. Everything cooked perfectly. So it's, the rice is really hot and I'm gonna serve it now. Now I'm gonna place this rice into the plate. Look, this is how we make the chili prawns uh, fried rice. Look guys, it looks amazing. The smell is so beautiful. You can see the color combination. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this now and see how it uh, tastes like. So I'm going to try this one and see how it tastes like. Mm. Guys, it's really hot and nice. You know, the numbness. Once you put it into the mouth, the numbness, the spicy taste. It's really nice guys. I hope you're gonna love this sun. It's really nice. The combination of the flavor is so good. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. I hope this is gonna be uh, helpful you to make the uh, chili prawns fried rice at your home. So don't forget to uh, subscribe me cooking at the brown chef. I work really hard for this. So thanks guys. Thanks for watching me. I'm gonna see you with a different video. Cheers bye. Thanks.